Today I wanted to recreate some outfits inspired by the Attico's Spring 2024 collection. The idea of the runway show and the looks was to have every model as their own woman with a different personality and identity. I think this is their day after night out look, if I'm not mistaken. And they didn't want it to be like a cohesive look throughout all of the models. They wanted each one their own personality and it's just so cool so if you have not watched already I highly recommend there's so many looks that I loved from this collection they had these amazing fur coat outfits with like tights and fun sparkly shoes I would love to recreate those but I don't really have anything in my closet that is even close to that so I'm just doing the best with what I have so I wanted to create this outfit because I think that was easy for me. I have trousers that are similar in shape and I do have a black turtleneck, but it's on the looser side. So I want to see if I can kind of get it to be more snug. So as you can already see, it's kind of loose for the look. I can wear it like this, but I do have a hack for making some shirts like a little more snatched. So I just take a safety pin and I'll use a clip on earring to go over the safety pin so that it looks more intentional and kind of part of the shirt. So I'll show you guys that. I'll just take the back and like close it like this and then pin it. So like I'll do something like that. Actually, the bobby pin it. Not the earring breaking. The safety pin is actually too big for my earring that I'm using. So I'm just going to put a black bow over it since bows are the vibe right now. Bow is attached. The only pair of sandal heels I have are these black ones, which goes perfect with this outfit, I think, anyway. All I can really add is belts because I don't have the fur thing or like a black scarf, which would be perfect, but challenge is to use what's already in my closet. And I like the look of belts just kind of random on the outside of the pant, like not in the buckles. I think that's just a vibe. I think it makes an outfit look put together and effortless at the same time. And I just kind of cross them, have them kind of looking loose just to get the vibe of the look on the runway a little more. I think this is so cute. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So this outfit, I definitely knew I wanted to recreate it because I have stacked denim. And not every day do you have stacked denim or see it on the runway. So the harder part about this outfit is I have a blazer, but of course it's not like structured and super shouldery like this look. But I do have a blazer and it's a little longer than the one in this look. I wear this blazer a lot, especially for work. And I always just wear it buttoned like this, but I love how this blazer has the collar up and wraps around. Doing this is so fun because I never would have thought to do this with my blazer and I like to rework pieces in different ways all the time, but like this is a vibe, what was I thinking? And because there's like a belt over it, I'm just gonna pin it right here with a safety pin at the waist because the belt will cover it. I 
also wish I had a thinner belt. This is just helping me realize more basics I need to buy. So far, a thinner belt and like a slim, skin tight turtleneck. The only thing is she has a chunky earring, kind of like a double hoop thing. So I'm just gonna double up some of my hoops that I already have. I have a small silver one and a big silver one and I'm just gonna hook them together. I didn't, I would not think to do this in my everyday life, so I love that. I think this is pretty close. Like, it's not bad. I feel, I still, like, I feel high fashion right now. This next one is going to be harder. I'm going to have to get creative because I have nothing like this dress, but I do have red tights and red heels. So I'm gonna see if I can get a similar vibe. Heels and tights are on. I have the skirt that I think I can rework as a top and it seems like it's kind of has a similar stretch to the dress. And then I have this halter dress and it just halters and has an opening in the back. I think I can do something with like this as a skirt and then connect it with this and kind of make it look like a dress. It's all kind of just like tucked in on the sides and the back. So I'm not practical just wearing like this, but I can put a jacket over it. And I feel like that's still like the Attico vibe. I think this is as close as I can get. I'm not mad about how this turned out because I really had to get creative with this one. And I think this is, I think this is bomb. This look seemed somewhat easier to recreate because it's jeans, a tank top, and then like a big blue fur coat. I do not have anything like that coat, so I can either find something that I have that's close to the blue or like something that is like can go over that's blue or I can put a coat on. And also I don't have jeans like that, but these are the baggiest jeans that I could get right now. I have my tank top kind of just tucked in the back so that it doesn't hit. So option one, I have this cardigan and in the look I think She's wearing black heels. So here's option one. Not close, but it's still a vibe. Like I would wear this today. I like the color. I feel like it's still fun. And just shows like, I don't know, just shows that they're is some styling effort, even though it's civil and casual. For option two, I just wear a long fur coat that I have. I think this is similar to the vibe of the collection just because it's like a big and more allowed coat. What do we think? I know it's probably the furthest from the accurate depiction. So that's all that I have for now. Um, this was a lot of fun just recreating looks because I love this collection so much, but I would love to do more videos like this in the future. If you liked this type of video, just let me know. But yeah, thank you for watching.